Hey what's up guys, this is Hemant from team GAD mode in association with channel 9. Looking through various other reviews, we found the Gione A1 shining in the camera department. When we got the device, we found the camera as good as described and could be said one of the best feature of this smartphone. The 13 megapixel rear camera on the Gione A1 has a dual LED flash and f2.0 aperture. It uses a Sony IMX258 sensor. At the front, there is a 16 megapixel camera with a similar aperture size as well as soft LED flash. Shutter captures instantly and there is no lag. It's quick enough to focus on an object as well. There is a filter option at the right corner of the screen and it works pretty decently. Switching to various modes like face beauty, panorama, video, card scanner can be done by swiping left or right on the screen. Settings icon on the top right corner of the screen gives option to customize camera in terms of camera mode, timer, grid lines, sound, picture size, geo tagging, add logos, camera quick access settings and restoring to the default setting options. These are pretty much expected setting options in a camera centric phone like this. Let's see a few interesting and unique modes which Gioni offers in A1 which is almost not seen on any of the devices till now. The very first one among that is text recognition. Capture any image which has text in it by going to this mode and camera detects the text most accurately and converts that image into a free text format. There are various options for selecting the language of the text being captured as well here. We have tried this option and works accurately and the added advantage to this feature is post capturing camera interface gives you an option to select the area for recognition and upon selecting the area, camera processes the image and converts into free text and it will also allow the user to edit or modify the text in the same interface and save it as a draft. The next wonderful mode is card reader. This option will enable you to capture a business or visiting card and the camera will auto process that into a contact with all the details converted into a text and auto fills name, designation, company, contact number, website email id etc details even this works accurately and is pretty useful and smart option processing everything on its own without giving you any work you just need to review and click on save option to store it in your contact list the next option in camera is translate this option has loads of data loaded into it select from a huge list of languages as input language and convert either a word or paragraph into different language this process runs quick and provides you instant data Basically, all these options are text recognition in an image and convert into a text format and process that into different formats. The camera app offers live filters as well as smoothening, whitening, slimming and eye enlarging features so you can beautify shots before they are taken. Selfies looked vibrant and detailed. The software tweaks were fun to use. HDR selfies tended to be better than regular ones. Low light results were also good. Though the front camera tended to pick up noise when light was limited. The selfie flash feature works as claimed by the company and fills light in shots where there isn't enough. Overall, both cameras are good to capture beautiful images. We will get back with another tech review soon. Stay tuned and hit thumbs up if you like the video and do not hesitate to share with your friends. Do subscribe if you are looking for more such wonderful unbiased tech reviews coming soon. And do not forget to visit the channel 9 retail outlet in Bangalore that is there since 1986 and it has one of the widest range of smartphones, gadgets and accessories and you will be surprised with the freebies, discounts and the offers that this outlet is offering.